Good day, grade 11s. Welcome back to the next in the series on electric circuits. Do you remember Ohm's law? Ohm's law states that the potential difference is directly proportional to the current in the circuit. This relationship is expressed mathematically as R equals V divided by I, where V is the potential difference in volts, I is the current in amperes, and R is the resistance in ohms. Today, we will investigate the relationship between the current through a light bulb and the potential difference across the light bulb. Here we have a simple circuit consisting of a direct current power supply, a light bulb, an ammeter, and a voltmeter. We'll slowly increase the current through the light bulb and then measure the potential difference across the light bulb as the current changes. I now switch the DC power supply on and adjust it so that it provides 10 milliamps. Now let's look at the voltmeter. Do you see that the reading on the voltmeter is 0, 0,3? I have set up a table, as we did before, to record the readings in this experiment. So let's fill in our first set of readings. I have filled in our starting values of 0 for both the current and the potential difference. We fill in our first set of readings. To make things easier, I have continued this experiment on my own and have taken several readings. Each time, I increased the current by 10 milliamps. Each time, I recorded the potential difference across the light bulb. When the current was set at 10 milliamps, we got a reading of 0,3 volts. When the current was 20 milliamps, the voltmeter reading was 0,7 volts. At 30 milliamps, we got 1,8 volts. 40 milliamps gave us a reading of 2,8 volts. And with 50 milliamps, we got a reading of 4,2 volts. We use a graph of these values to get an idea of the mathematical relationship between them. I have plotted current versus potential difference. Note that the current is on the x-axis and the potential difference is on the y-axis. Is this what we expected from our graph? Do you remember that in the experiment when we used a resistor, our results give us a straight line graph? This is very obviously not a straight line graph. What does this mean? In this experiment, Ohm's law was not obeyed. A resistor that does not obey Ohm's law is said to be non-ohmic. Now we know that if we plot a graph of potential difference versus current for an ohmic resistor, we get a straight line graph. If we plot a graph of potential different versus current for a non-ohmic resistor, the graph is always curved. Certain resistors obey Ohm's law, and others, such as the light bulb, do not obey Ohm's law. Another very common example of a non-ohmic resistor is a diode. Diodes are components that allow current to flow only in one direction in a circuit. Light-emitting diodes are found in many devices such as television remotes, car remotes, and traffic lights. Grade 11s, you will find more information about electric circuits at www.mindset.co.za forward slash learn. Remember to try some of the questions in the task video. Goodbye.